Hello Capricorn, Narai here. Gonna do a reading for you guys. If you're new to my channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. I hope you are well. If you are new, welcome back. Thank you for the support. And we're gonna do a general reading for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North and South nodes and see what comes out. As I stated in the previous Capricorn reading, that was a few days ago, your circles are getting smaller. I feel like some of you may realize it doesn't matter how long you've been friends with somebody. Some friendships are not as solid as you probably believe. And Spirit, what messages and guidance do we have for Capricorn, please and thank you. I keep seeing the same card. Okay. So let's see what comes out for you, Cappies. Ooh. The first card, OMG, the first card. The lovers. This is a deep soul connection. This can be a soulmate for some of you. This could actually just be a choice or decision that needs to be made. But I'm feeling love. I'm feeling a very strong attraction to someone. Not just like sexual attraction, but like really being drawn to somebody because of how they are. Somebody very different. What the? It's a hell of a start to your reading, is all I know. The happiness card, the sun card, the happiest card in the deck for most people. It's like you giving praise, you being so joyful, having that warm feeling inside, being confident, feeling really positive about life, celebrating the positive in your life. It's like meeting someone that actually can add to that. I feel like a lot of times when people meet someone new, they're like, oh my gosh, this person makes me so happy. But I feel like a lot of you have grown so much that it's not about this person making you happy because you know you're responsible as an individual that is independent and grown, but they add to your happiness. I have the Knight of Pentacles. This is somebody grounded and slow moving, somebody patient. I feel like this is coming, but it may require you to continue having patience, Capricorn. And for those of you that are like in a rush for somebody to come in, if, if you're like anxious about somebody coming in, they're probably not going to come in. And if they do, it's probably not going to last. And the reason being is because you're supposed to say what you want and then get on with the rest of the stuff that you need to take care of. The four of wands, a reason to celebrate family and friends coming together. This is the marriage card. This is the stability card. I don't even know that I want to go anymore. Okay, spirit. I need to shuffle. I need to shuffle. Messages and guidance for Capricorn, please and thank you. the page of wands 
<clears throat> for me, this card is very similar to the full card. It's like taking a leap of faith. Um, this could be somebody younger than you. This could be a message coming in, but this is somebody that like really wants to take action. I have the Empress card. What you need to be focused on right now is just nurturing and caring, uh, taking care of what you need to take care of. Nurturing yourself, nurturing those that are actually in your life that treat you the way you need to be treated by them. Not nurturing people that just reach out to you when they need something. But this is you making things happen because the Empress energy can be in a woman, it can be in a man. It's about bringing things to life, not just giving birth to humans um, or impregnating someone, but actually like creating ideas and making things happen, making something wonderful out of something so small an idea, making it come into action. This is the person that can turn, uh, this is a person that has the Midas, Midas touch. The Midas touch. This is Mother Earth. But this is a very beautiful, a very attractive person. I feel like somebody's drawn to that characteristic and trait in you. And then I have the Two of Swords. Even with this person coming, for some reason, Capricorn, you're going to be torn in between a rock and a hard place. Oh, wow. Because you guys still want to be in hermit mode. Oh, shit. I'm so sorry. I just realized something. So I will say whether or not something resonates or if I resonate with a Capricorn reading because I'm a Capricorn too. This just dawned on me. Actually, let me just continue the reading. It's okay. I pull the lovers in reverse, uh, the two of cups in reverse, and I pull this. So you guys are coming out of something as far as feelings. Like there's, you don't f have the fear of, you don't feel like you're missing out on anything. However, you are afraid of having another breakup, it not being an equal give and take. And that kind of makes you want to stay in hermit mode. That kind of makes you want to stay in hermit mode. And I totally understand that. I'm in hermit mode myself. Here's 20, the judgment card. This is you guys making a judgment call. For some of you, this can be an awakening. Here's what I get from the judgment card. I feel like if you get... Oh God, do I need to take my own advice? If you actually talk to somebody that's interested in talking to you, especially if it's somebody new, they may awaken something in you, but the only way they can do that is if you freaking get out of hermit mode. Some of you are stuck between a rock and a hard place when you do actually meet somebody because you want to stay in hermit mode because that is safe. That is safe. And then I have the seven of wands because you guys just want to continue, <laughs> oh God, protecting your energy, protecting your territory, just, just protecting yourself. You don't want any more time wasters. But if you give somebody a chance and you have those boundaries and you don't move too fast and you move slow and take your time, it could possibly lead to marriage. I mean, the whole story is in the first four cards, but I just kept pulling. You can actually have a give and take, an equal give and take, but you have to be sure not to overgive in the beginning of a particular situation. This one's sticking out. This person could be king of wands, somebody that makes things happen, somebody very attractive. Oh, he is fine for a, a a cartoon looking person he's fine sorry not sorry 
but this is somebody that's take charge that makes things happen this is a businessman i feel like this or woman i feel like this could be a very passionate lover and see all this red here there's a lot of passion there's a lot of passion and a lot of chemistry There's a lot of passion and a lot of chemistry. So that's what I have for you, Capricorn. I'm going to leave you with that. And I might actually have to take my own advice because somebody is trying to get to know me that I do not know. And I'm like, I don't even want to get to know anyone. And now I, this reading comes out and it's not my reading personally. I know it's not. But I can kind of resonate with this. And I will say if I can or if I can't. But this is a lot of Capricorns right now. So I'm going to leave you with this. Please like my video. Subscribe to the channel if you like my style. If you like the music. Um, share, and, uh, share if you want to. But I thank you guys for watching. And I love you guys. And until next time Capricorn. Bye.